Good morning to y'all. Top of the morning. A uh, little something that i uh, <clears throat> been pondering through my mind is uh, change, you know? Change, big change. And we're all going through change, you know, with the world, with our lives, with ourselves, with our activities, with our partners, whatever it is. And what I've come to realize is that it's not really the partner, it's not really the activity, it's not really the uh, situation that you're missing. What's missing is the ego that you built up around it. All those experiences, all those memories, all those, uh, you know, I guess, I guess times that uh, you felt alive or whatever it is. But if you came to a point, let's say as an athlete, that you didn't want to race anymore, you didn't want to compete anymore, and you got away from it, well, then what is bringing you back? What's making you miss it? You know, the same thing with the relationship. If you've came to a point where you just can't be with that person anymore, well, what's making you miss that person if you can't be around them? It's a situ it's the energy that you built up around it, you know, that energy that uh, that that sometimes is comfortable even though that it's uncomfortable. You know, you like for a racer, it's it's very difficult to, you know, come to a point where you wake up in the morning and you don't have something to challenge you, to thrill you, to excite you, to motivate you to reward you and also sometimes the risk of the consequence keeps you alive and so that has been a little bit of a struggle for me the last couple months at first it was just kind of healing getting over my my neck and getting into you know back to you know my body working 100 percent and stuff like that but then kind of sometimes reality sets in and be like oh shit this is life and sometimes it feels a little bit monotonous. So uh, same thing is like, why do people always go back to what they're doing and or do they replace it? So being an athlete, you know, it's almost like being a drug drug addict, <laughs> you know. So let's say I'm an alcoholic or something and I stop drinking. Well, I'm going to pick up something to replace that that uh, that alcohol. So the same thing with being a racer. <clears throat> when I broke my back, I stopped riding, stopped racing. What did I do? I picked up a mountain bike and started racing that so I could prove how fit I was, how badass I was still, but just in a different avenue. But now I don't have that that desire to compete at all. I don't have that desire to uh, put myself at risk at all. So even on a mountain bike, you know, it's like, I don't know if I want to go down that road because it's it's always a means to an end. You know what I mean? Okay, yeah, I won this race. Yeah, I did this. But now what? You know, being, you know, going back to, let's say, a partner that you're having struggle with, you go back to it and you're like, oh, shit, all these things came back up again. So, you know, don't think that it's it's something that you're missing it's the ego that you built up around it the persona you built up around it and now you need to change that 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 perspective i guess and try to find something in life that is going to soothe you almost not excite you you know and so that's where for me at this time you know i'm, I'm trying to tune into life being a little bit more uh you know a little bit more easy I guess not easy but just where there's not so much ups and downs there's not so much consequence or possible consequence of doing the sport that I did uh, so you know the, these these times are tough for everybody you know it's really tough to change it's really tough to let good things go but when you let things go then something else can flow back into your life and you don't know what it is until you close that door so um, I know just something I want to share because there's a lot of people that are going through change, and especially in this world, a lot of people that are going through struggle or, uh, you know, uh, losing a job or relationship or or sport, you know. And the best thing that I can say is find try to find a routine, a morning routine that gets you up in the morning. Not that that excites you, not that 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 anything. It just makes you feel good. It doesn't have to be extravagant. It doesn't have to be out of this world. It just has to make you tick. It has to make you feel like you flow. And when you can get up in the morning and not uh, have to talk to anybody, not have to look at anything, not have to decide anything, and you can spend some time with yourself, spend some time in nature, wherever you live, but just pretty much time with yourself. Let your mind be able to ponder on things. Let your mind be able to decide things. Let your you know, your soul, your system, be able to unfold some of these feelings that you're having instead of always being, you know, bombarded by 
noise, by conversation, by other people's opinions, by other people's whatever. You know, you never get time to kind of think for yourself, be with yourself, and also you never get time to kind of uh, see the path that you're leaving behind and the path that you're opening up. You know, it's very important to have just time with yourself. So there's a rule here on at my monastery is that nobody talks to me until 8 a.m. unless talking to. <laughs> and then usually 8 p.m. is time to stop talking to, you know, because again, when you talk, everybody's talking so much, you never have time to see how you feel, how you truly think with the direction you truly want to go. And, you know, I feel that that's very important with people because we're always bombarded by so much information because that's all we are is just kind of, and, 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 you know, information antennas, right? Wherever we go, I'm talking to somebody, they're getting information to me, they're talking to me, I'm getting inter information from them. I drive my car, there's road signs, there's, you know, there's, there's stoplights, all these different things. It's information constantly coming to us and we can get overwhelmed by that. So if you can have that morning routine, that morning time, or even at night, whatever, just some time to allow yourself to ponder on the directions you're going, you might have a, uh, you might sense less anxiety, less stress, you know what I mean? Less fear, because now you're the captain of your boat, not just kind of bouncing off, bouncing off uh, shores because you don't know where you're going. So I don't know, just something I wanted to share with everybody because, uh, you know, we all have our times and, you know, me, I'm always one to share when things aren't going the best and that would hopefully help one person, you know, maybe it's a little gym somebody can put in the pocket or maybe it's a bunch of trash people can throw away. I don't know, but if we don't ever share, then we don't ever, you know, help a brother, help a sister. Uh, and it could only be one. It doesn't matter. But uh, sharing your situation, sharing your sometimes a little bit of your struggles, let other people know that, hey, I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one. And, you know, struggles don't have to be something that are is life changing or devastating. It just has to be maybe a little bit of a kind of a low in your life. Like, hmm, now what do I do? And that's kind of been a little bit of my life the last couple of months is just like, hmm, what do I do? And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm lucky that I have this property that keeps me, you know, cons constantly busy. And, um, you know, it's just a big, kind of like a big healing grounds. But, uh, you know, I don't know, just, just sharing with you guys. Hope everybody has a good day and everybody stay strong. But remember, it's not really something you're missing. It's just the ego that you're, you built up around it, the persona you built up around it. And you just have to take time to allow that to fade away. Because everything, you know, everything fades away. You know, time heals all. So just remember that and stay strong. Charge life, baby.